and welcome to Reviving the Victory Homestead. This morning we're going to talk about proofing yeast. And you might be asking why do we proof yeast because we want to make sure that those wonderful little microorganisms that help uh, your, your bread rise are able to do their job. So let's talk a little bit about what to do and how to proof yeast. So here we are. Now you want to go ahead and proof your yeast. So a couple of things to remember is, is you're going to need a few things. You need your yeast, you need your sugar, and of course you're going to need some warm water. So you'll need a half a cup of warm water. More specifically, warm water that's somewhere between 105 and 115. If you're concerned about that temp, then go ahead and pop a temp gauge on it. But it does need to be a warm water. The next thing you need to do is, is take out your instant dry yeast. I have Fleshman's Instant Dry Yeast in a vacuum packed brick that I purchased from Sam's Club about around 2015, but I'm not really sure if it's still good. So we're going to go ahead and proof it. And so what you'll do is, let's say that you're working with maybe the little three pack of instant dry yeast. You'll want to use one of those, but if you're using the dry yeast as I am, you're going to want to use a teaspoon of dry yeast and put it inside um, your mixture of water and sugar. Now the hard part is going to be waiting five to ten minutes for it to proof. So let's get back to what really happened. Um, did my Fleshman's Instant Dry Yeast from 2015, did it proof? Well, let's see. Okay, so here we go. So we've mixed our water and our yeast and our sugar, and now we wait. Okay, so let's return and let's see what's happened. So now, as you can see, um, just to give you an idea, oh look, it has risen. Um, let me come down here so you can see that. Yep. Look at all that nice bubbly golden bubbliness. Awesome. So now that we know that our yeast has risen and is proofed, we know that we can go ahead and use it in any in a bread recipe or whatever recipe that you're going to be using yeast for. Well, what have we determined? What we've determined is is will yeast from 2015 proof after five years? And the answer is yes, which is awesome because now I can get to making my homemade bread. Um, if you're interested in learning more of these skills, whether it's starting a sourdough starter or baking bread or proofing yeast, please follow us on our Facebook group. It's Reviving the Victory Homestead. I'm Nancy Flanagan. I'm with you this morning. Super excited that we were able to get our yeast proofed. If this is exciting and you want to continue following us, please add your friends. We'd love to have them. Um, definitely give us a, a shout out or a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Hope you all are well. And as I've always said to you, be well and always know, oh yes, you can.